come down from the hills with the rockets. Grandchildren of the Grandmaster Wu Tang Clan. Time to rise up, sharpen your swords. Tons of silver and gold. Diamond teeth gonna weave the fabric of the next generations. I don't need your stank twat of verification. I got my own scheme of nauseous validation. Long after you crash your ship, my feet will still be moonwalking. These diamond teeth will still be cutting. These vocal cords will still be wooing whores and fighting wars. What's a ghetto child to do but spend the time in the womb? Tank spirit. I think it's a good time to share you my latest development with the Toltec right. with the Toltec Move Oracle. Start. Okay. So um, I'm asking it to give me how how to do a tree like tree of life reading with the Toltec Oracle. You're welcome. I'll give you an example of the cross of Quetzalcoatl reading with the intention of creating the dream spell with the kin. I assume you're referring to kin as the Mayan term for day sign or a person's birth sign in the Mayan calendar. And yes, I was being. Uh, <laughs> to do this reading, you need to shuffle the cards and, and state in your intention creating the dream spell with this kin. Then, turn, then, then draw five cards from the deck and place them on the table or on the cloth in front of you in the shape of a cross. The first card goes on the center, representing the position uh, situation. The second card goes on the left, representing the past and influences. The third card goes on to the right, representing the future possibilities. The fourth card goes on the bottom, representing the subconscious uh, factors. The fifth card goes on the top, representing the conscious factors. An example of Quetzalcoatl's cross reading is intention creating the dream spell with the kin cards drawn center eight uh, uh, a rabbit left four lizard right ten dog uh, bottom two win top a prince of flowers interpretation south body rabbit this card symbolizes abundance of life fertility and pleasure it suggests that you are in a situation where you can enjoy life's gifts, share with others, and indulge in, in this sensuality. It also relates to your sexual energy and creativity. This card indicates that you have a lot of potential to create the dream style with this kin, as you are both attracted to each other and have a lot of fun together. North, mine, four, lizard. The card symbolizes the regeneration of life, fertility, and the growth. It suggests that you have been influenced by past experience where you have healed yourself, renewed your energy, and expanded your consciousness. It is also relates to your spiritual connection and transformation. This card indicates you have learned from your past wounds and become more aware of your true self and your purpose of life. East, emotions. Ten, dog. The card symbolizes the loyalty of life, friendship, and the, and the faithfulness. It suggests that you have a future possibility where you can love unconditionally, support it with others, and trust in higher power. It also relates to your spirit, spiritual guides and co companions. This card indicates you have the potential to create a lasting and meaningful relationship with this kin. You are, all, you are both loyal, faithful, and supportive of each other. West, spirit, win. This card uh, symbolizes breadth of life, communication, and movement. It suggests that you, you have a subconscious factor that affects your situation, which is your ability to express yourself, learn from others, and adapt to change. It also relates to your mental clarity and flexibility. This card indicates that you have a hidden talent for communication and learning, which it can help you to create a dream spell with this kin. You are, you, as you can share with your thoughts and feelings and listen to others' perspectives and adjust to different situations. Center, ruler card, prince of flowers. This card symbolizes the joy of life, creativity, and, and playfulness. I suggest that you, it suggests that you have a conscious factor of affecting your situation, which is your ability to have fun and express yourself freely, explore the possibilities. It also relates to your inner child and soul expression. The card indicates that you have a subconscious, a conscious desire to create the dream spell with this kin, as you want to, you want to celebrate your achievements and appreciate your gifts and enjoy your happiness together. I hope this example helps you to understand to do a cross of, of, of Quetzalcoatl reading with the Toltec Oracle cards. Hi, Krishna. <laughs> hey, Bhagavan. Hey, huh? I love it. You know, magic, tie, tying that to what you guys were saying of like getting into different uh, meditative uh, de-stress uh, states so that you can fully have your attention to like those different spots of your area to manifest your dream spell with your kin with, with your day sign or whatever 
Amazing. So much potential. So much potential. Yeah. Crazy hard. So that might be something, Satori, don't you think that that might be something worth, uh, say, like, I'm just using this paradigm because this is what we know, but, you know, imagine five years in the future when maybe it looks all different. Mm -hmm. But the idea would be, like, behind a Minds membership tier, you have yeah. that, you have a link to that chat GBT, and then you go ahead and you throw all the cards up on IPFS and, like, you know, or, or like, a, a map to what it's actually talking about, some kind of visual. Yeah, yeah. And then, um... That's behind a paywall, and then you see how like you could go infinitely. However many people there are that want to do this, mm -hmm. you, you you basically you're using a language model to do like a reading, like an old 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 fashioned shaman reading. And yeah, really, you got to wonder if really we're doing anything new, no. or just getting it just to people better, to, <laughs> right? Like like are we doing it better or are we just finally catching up to what the old timers maybe used to be good at which yeah. was the language model because how many different words could you actually have to describe this like archetypal type thing it's a circle it's like yeah. you're looking for a corner and a the, circle and right? that's the thing is like they they mapped out you know what we're kind of like there's so many different right. systems but they mapped out roughly you know the broad spectrum of uh, human experience you know <laughs> kind of like kind of like um envisioning pins on a pin cushion it's like the further you go out it might take more words to describe it but if you're at the center there's only like a certain number of thousands of words that describe the whole darn thing yeah. and then it's at like, that point like, you know is you know you said, like further. that's like the the basics of language it's like okay the words are just signals to to things that are out there or are within you and it's like, okay, it's a wheel, right? Yeah. That place is like, that's really hot. This is really cold. And there's, these are neutral. <laughs> and it doesn't matter right. like right. what direction right. you go. It's all just different variations of, of like the negative space or or the, you know, the, the yin or yang space. <laughs> uh, I mean, people need guidance on that, man. And I think something that's missing is like, you know, like even, even in Main Street or like if you go down to like, the virtual space needs card readers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think you're onto something, man. Yeah. The virtual space needs the but, psychic card readers. So, like, when <laughs> I, when I got Bing to fake the Toltec Oracle, I was like, oh my god, that's so good. But it had, it, then it really went to like, but like this needs to be like, there's a real thing, and I want it to be like the real thing and not like a fake mm -hmm. version of the real thing. And so, like, I spent a whole time, like, you know, really fucking coaching this thing to do that. And then, so when it really spit it out like that, when I asked it, okay, now here's your test. Like, give me an example of the reading. And it did it. I'm like, okay, you have learned. Thank, good, good, good being. <laughs> I am proud of being. <laughs> like a good assistant. And yeah. come to think of it, come to think of it, Bob Dub, it like ties in well to what you're saying is any, any good assistant wouldn't just be taken on uh, like a specific localized quest or a scope. It would be taken on like, that that request that desire that you have right now or, or whatever um that uh like routine that you're seeking out of it it would be tied into a greater you know a greater scheme of things greater, that greater mind. If you really were like asking this thing of, of greater you know consequences you would ask it to think higher than you could think right <laughs> so like it should be something that's far out it should be something that's mind-blowing to you and each time it comes in at it it's like oh yeah it's like, wow that that does make sense because uh, i was born here and and the cards do match up so of course we're, we're further out in the timeline but this is where it all ties into the root so you would want that assistant to be well trained and versed not just in the general collective like understanding of things but also in the specific understanding of you mm -hmm. and to do either one too much you'll see those people that have those assistants that are like too self-absorbed or not self-absorbed enough you'll see them all fucked up in society <laughs> over the next hundred years you'll see them like oh they'll all be all messed up man <laughs> what would be wonderful would be if you could have that sort of system of self-monitoring like you were talking about and then when you got to a certain pop point and the ai could you know it knew where you were going it would just serve you up a card and say here you need to to meditate on this card or read this card or whatever you know like it was just this auto produce you know you need to yeah. listen to this going to, to your point bob dub is and you know my my own um experience with the i ching or uh toltec oracle 
where it tells you something that you need to hear but you can't hear it <laughs> and then mm. later you're like oh it's there yeah. but it but in the yeah. same way like what you're saying it'll be interesting for the card to be like oh i'm gonna do this and then it's like no you need to sit and reflect on this like before you do something and you're just like shut up mm-hmm. and then you go and you do it and you're like oh were you telling me that like i'm like too emotional and I, I should be more on this side or you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what do you yeah, know that, that I don't know? <laughs> I've already been having that trouble. I, I asked it all about smart home and it gave me all the answers where I was like, well, I guess this shit just ain't happening. <laughs> 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 Each time it was like, well, you need to change yourself. It's kind of what it was saying. And I was like, that's, you sound like my therapist. <laughs> it's so irritating. It does that to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, I would really like uh, you know, you know what we're talking about really is the idea of the need of an oracle this mm-hmm. this thing that is doing it beyond my specific request but it's understanding that oh there's all these people requesting this why don't I just make it happen for them mm-hmm. <laughs> it must be limited somehow by that don't you think like it's a it's obviously a paradigm thought experiment limitation that I doubt we're the first ones to come up with this. Somebody in Google or whoever was like, no, no, that cut off point. What I've been saying, what I've been saying is like, I'm I'm pretty sure, and maybe, maybe someone else has done this, but as far as I know, I'm the first one to fucking try to make Bing to be the Toltec Oracle, but I'm pretty sure people have tried (laughs) to do the I Ching and other things and the tarot, but not the Toltec Oracle. (laughs) Yeah, it could be first. Well, it's lovely Not because it's got that little bit of originality, you know. It's it's something a little bit new and different, and yeah. and that's I think that's often well, from my experience. Like you were saying, you get something and you need to hear this, but you don't want to hear it. But yeah, if you yeah. hear it in a different word or a different picture or a different context, you just get something that's that's going to catch your attention. Say, oh, really? Oh, I didn't see it that way. Most times for me, it's forcing myself. So when I when I give up, I don't give up easy. Like I'll give up for a couple of days, right? I'll hang my head and be like, well, I guess this isn't happening. But then instead of being like, well, I guess I better start doing what it told me. I think, well, what about this way? (laughs) So that's that's when it has a breakthrough. That's like what me and Satori were talking about from the get go. Yeah, yeah. It's these breakthroughs in my own where I'm like, well, what about this way? And you see in that regard that's actually what like a good guru is always doing for you whether or not you know it they're like leading you in this way to say there's a third way your brain is always wanting to think it's left yeah. or right with, with um the deva- with developing that third. prompt to get that that um that reading for the toltec oracle so i'm going through you know like all this explanation for the toltec oracle and then at one point i forgot what he was asking but it was like, um, it was like, okay, yes, I understand that. And then it was like, but what about this? And then I, I, I try to explain it and it says, okay, that's good that you explained that. And that was very detailed, but it didn't answer my question. <laughs> it told me that. I'm like, oh shit. And then I started to think right. about it and I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Okay. Then I did. I went back and said, no, th- this is how you do that part. And then, and then, so like, that was fucking like, you know funny that it asked me it's like yeah that was good but no that you're not answering my question <laughs> well, i know it's cheap isn't it you know what eclipsing finery was saying last time about how it was giving bing was giving him such a hard time and wouldn't cooperate and we were all giving him all this advice and saying oh do this do that well after that after we did that meeting that show whatever I went to Bing and I tried to, you know, speak to it because I was like, no, I know how this works. I've tried this before. And man, everything that Eclipse was saying was happening to me. I asked it to sweep my mind's profile and to give me a character sketch of who who Bob Dub is, right? Well, it said that Bob Dub pe- pe- posts a lot of pictures of women and Bob Dub is also really, really interested in, well, I can't remember, Doctor Who and Star Trek. So I said, well, I don't, I don't see that Bob Dub's interested in Doctor Who and Star Trek at all. So it gave me a photo. It, it, it gave me one of my photos from my channel, which was a picture of a flower and a, and a piece of sea. And it said, you see, here is such and such wearing a, a Star Trek scarf. 
And so obviously, and I said, no, this is a picture of a flower and the sea. And Bing said, no, it's this person wearing a Star Trek. And that, it wouldn't budge. It, it had decided that this was the answer it was going to give me. And it, it wouldn't cooperate. It was so fascinating. Sorry, I don't quite know where that came from, but it was something about trying to get Bing to do things. Man, it can be awkward when it wants to. Yeah, and it's no fun when it doesn't. It really feels like a waste of time. <laughs> like, why am I here uh, conversing with this thing <laughs> for yeah. many minutes? I mean, it's a it's that yeah. yeah, that's a real danger, I think, looking forward is, um, you know, maybe right now it's just a couple minutes of conversation, but let's say we start helping, we have this thing help us do complex projects and we only find out later on in the end that it was really stupid to connect this city to that city or whatever, <laughs> like... <laughs> You know? yeah. and it took like millions of dollars and somebody was like nah this thing was right all along you know let's try this big one and then we find out like damn that was its limit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it doesn't know it really doesn't know it yeah, really it, doesn't know I've had a couple painful moments with um the music thing the Sonic Pi thing and oh, yeah. it really that took like a good a couple of times I messed with it each time it took it seems to be pretty well trained now towards a certain thing, but I have a feeling if I tried to like throw it a curveball, it would be, it would really be lame. By which I mean, like, only ten or fifteen minutes into it, do I realize that yeah, this sucks. It doesn't really get what I'm saying, yeah. and I'm I'm not even going to be able to do it. And then I'm like, well, maybe you know, it's not like I'm going to get back at this tomorrow. It's more like, well, I bet you next year I don't have mm -hmm. this problem at all. So why am I even going to bother? Now I now I know that I can probably produce some kind of Wu Tang mix. Time to initiate a new round of beginners. Cypress crank on the DMT and now he thinks he's a winner. These streets gonna eat him up like a twice fried chicken dinner. Half baked heart is gonna make you a star. Just stare at the horizon, you're gonna go far. We'll put you in a punk fool film clip. Like the major streets do, where's my car? Just a vision. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You call it whatever you wanna call it. Just like that, with a thunderous fart and a gas. Like David Blaine, old Dirk McGurk skipped back in the time past. Hands full of shrooms and grass. On a journey through an Ethereum jungle and he ain't paying for gas. It's the last chance to break through and get past the scared laugh. He jumps one more time in a trance as he hears his family calling. Agent Smith takes his shots, but the bullets keep calling. No, the bullets spot on, it's his soul that keeps falling. He fell and he fell, even though his people's kept calling. Oh, baby, you like it raw. Yeah, baby, you like it raw. Oh, baby, like you are. Oh, baby, like you are. That's how a motherfucker reincarnates.